Sam White from White Sword Falcon Company. I got my dad with me, and we are going to be shooting some of our youth guns, and we're going to make sure you don't put a hard-kicking gun in front of a youth hunter or really anybody. So, yeah. Yep. So we're going to try out the semis, the pumps, the single shots. We have a collection of guns, some guns that we actually don't hunt with that are dedicated to you. So we want to make sure you are getting the right gun for your kids, whatever your budget might be. Um, and just to put this in perspective, our background, Wyatt, you've been shooting since five, yeah. uh, 20 gauge. And, and there's little tricks to that we've learned and as we start other youth hunters out. So a lot of bad information out there, not to put anybody down. But we're, we're here to show you guys simple terms, and especially for the hunter, not just the target shooter. So we're going to go over that. It might take us a few different videos over time. So make sure you stay tuned. Yeah. All right, we're going to get to shooting. You ready? Yep. Here's a quick tip. when If you have a young youth hunter and they don't quite know the form, like how to hold the gun and stuff, a stand helps so you can get into the gun easier yep. this is a good way to start any entry level shooter as you can see white has the right form got his he has his feet right so he can be ready for the recoil so we'll start you you know the real young shooters like this even kid or just new shooters in general so get one of these stands if you're teaching somebody um, we're not sponsored just pick one up anyone so, all right, we're gonna get to shooting now. Yeah. All right, we're gonna start with the smallest. I got 410, single shot, and I'm gonna hand throw a clay pigeon, see if I can get it. There we go. I got a Mossberg 20 gauge pump and a clay pigeon. I'm gonna test the recoil out, so let's see. I got my inertia system, Bronco AFN 83, 20 gauge, and I'm gonna check the recoil. Here we go. There we go, let's get back shooting. I got an 1187, 20 gauge, gas operated, and let's test the recoil. shooting yeah let's get to the next gun i got my dad's nurture system 12 gauge and i'm gonna be testing recoil on it so let's go okay let's test let's tell you iris okay so we got all the guns laid out let me shot today and I'm gonna say the one that kicked the hardest was this Mossberg youth model. And it just is a pump, so it doesn't take all the recoil out. I'd say with like these gas operated and inertia system, it can take out most of the recoil. So that gun definitely kicked really hard. I don't have much to compare it to, just pretty hard kicking gun. This 410, Kick the same as my dad's 12 gauge for same reason his last gun it doesn't take out the kick uh this 12 gauge it has where it can take out the kick so it really doesn't kick that bad and then this gun was the softest kicking gun i'd recommend it is a remington 1187 and it takes out most of the kick and if we have a really soft pad on the back so that one I would recommend if you have a young shooter that's wanting to get into hunting or target shooting. And this is one that kicks a little harder than this, I think mainly because it doesn't have the pad on the back, but it takes out a lot of the kick. But this is gas operated and this is inertia system. So yeah, both kick pretty good. All right guys. 
So you got White's take on all the recoil. I strongly agree. And I will say these pumps are going to kick the kids, especially when you get into the duck rounds. Doesn't matter what brand. Yeah. Um, obviously the gas is better. You can get like a limb saver. It's going to be a great setup for a kid. And we're going to do more videos on shotgun shells. All these guns today were shot with just basic clay rounds. Um, just to try to keep things all equal. But I want to show you something real quick. Just a 410 and a 20 gauge. I don't recommend this 410 for hunting. I don't care if you have bismuth in it. I know some of you guys are going to disagree. But for kids starting out, they don't make a good gas gun for this that I'm aware of. So that's why we stay with the 20 gauge and why we're going to do more videos. But right now, what we can say is for still shot, stay at the 1350, like a 7 8 or 3 quarter ounce. That will be your best chance. When you start climbing up in that feet per second, these guns will come to life for these kids. And that's probably the number one mistake I see. Um, I think, was it Rio makes a good one? Yeah. yeah. Heck, even if you went with some Winchesters, it doesn't matter. You're, you're talking about getting these birds in good range for these kids. We, you should be able to do a couple of, like that. So, that wraps up today's video. What do you, else do you want to add? Anything? Yeah, comment down below if you guys have any ideas for any other videos. And like, subscribe. And yeah, catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Alright, we're down to the end. Little broken clay. We got some extra shells. Alright. Whack that one. <laughs> nice shoot. We're down to some broken pieces, but we have some shells. We're gonna see if I can get them. Ready?